of the most important things you must check on any cassette deck, reel to reel, or even video recorder is well, after a period of time, the heads become magnetized, mainly due to the natural magnetic effect of the earth, um, also the effect of screwdrivers and next to TVs, next to um, loudspeakers, the heads become magnetized, the pinch roller and capstan become magnetized, and all the parts inside the inside the machine become magnetized. Um, and that affects the uh, high frequency response and playback of the machine and can actually, to a degree, erase your uh, cassettes and tapes if you keep playing them over again. They'll degrade because they're being basically erased slowly over time. Um, now this rather dubious looking tool here is actually a tape head demagnetizer. It's uh, not a sex aid or anything. Um, the principle of this, it generates a, an AC uh, flux from its uh, coil. It's basically a coil inside with a, a steel shaft, so it's basically an electromagnet plugged into the mains. And what this does is uh, neutralizes any magnetic field building up inside or on any metal part. It's also great, this thing, for demagnetizing screwdrivers and things like tweezers when you pick and pick something up and you can't actually get it put it down again because it's grabbed a, a sort of ma ma magnetized screw or the all the screwdrivers become magnetized itself so um you think oh yeah well, what's the point in showing the video on this but there is actually a way of doing it that you can actually make the heads even worse than they were before it's very important that when you use this that you follow the instructions that the manufacturer supplies or follow this instruction i'm going to show you now when you demagnetize the head, which is what I'm about to do to this old Iowa, you need the demagnetized demagnetize a fairly long way from anything that's going to get affected by the device. Switch the mains on. And the demagnetizer is actually running now, so it's generating a magnetic field. I don't know if I can demonstrate that. You'll probably see on a screwdriver or something. I don't know if you can hear it buzzing, but it's it's actually shaking that screwdriver now as it's demagnetizing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you the principle. You start at some distance away from the from the the tape head and the tape transport. You move in slowly, and this is so it builds the the uh, the field up gently. It doesn't put a big spike in the field, which can actually cause magnetism. And you run around the heads, around the around all the guides, anything metallic, around the capstan especially. Run around the head slowly. Be careful not to scratch any surfaces. This has got a protective coating on, most of them have. Okay, that's it. Now, in theory, the heads should be hidden tight. Now, if I turn the device off now, if, the, if I shut it off at the top of the uh, waveform, basically the top of the uh, so AC waveform, you, you get a big spike of uh, DC and it will polarise the heads or whatever I'm near. So what I do is I move away slowly, like that, come away slowly, and come away as far as possible. And then once you're far enough away, then you can turn off the demagnetizer. Now your heads are totally demagnetized. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, as I say, works for all sorts of things, including screws and magnets and um, not magnet screws and screwdrivers and tools that, or anything that becomes magnetized that isn't meant to be.